Welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fong Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we're going to be talking about using Azola. Some call it Azola. Some call it duckweed. Any name. Some call it. Uh, some say they are leaves that are on the pond. So using this to feed your catfishes, what are your likely chance of succeeding using them? Is this even advisable? This is what we're going to be discussing today. But before we go further, if you're having any current challenge in your farm, all you simply need to do is do a video of your fishes and send to 081-353-48909. In this video you are doing, attach a voice message and explain to me what are the things that you are seeing and i will be able to solve your problem free of charge if you don't want to include the voice you can actually type and explain to me what is it that is happening in the video so that i will understand this better and if you if possible for you when you are doing this video do it when you are feeding your catfishes it gives me an overview of how your catfishes respond to feeding and every other thing that you want to ask me remember these services are actually free welcome back so like i said some people call it duckweed some call it azola and some will tell you that oh these things are uh they are plant leaves that fall on the pond now that there is this argument you know i see this argument people are arguing especially some new people in the business and some older people for some reasons are just arguing that you know they use <laughs> this thing duckweed to make a hell of money in the farm because it serves to them as um as a feed supplement yes and uh, the question is do catfishes eat it and what is the health implication of cat of, of these things on catfish you know some people quote a lot of things about it good i don't really care about all those things but when questions are being thrown you know over and over again it becomes that you have to explain this thing so that we all can understand this now um if you're watching this video please try and share this content for other people to see and also learn remember services are free so now what is this azola if you look at it very well you see that they are green plant materials some there there are there so when you stay in some areas of earthen pond some of them they fall down from the trees but there is another one that also grow on the water surface yes There's this one that grow on the water surface that has stems. No, they have roots in the water. Good and fine. So all these things, people people confuse themselves on it, but they are not the same. The one that I showed here at the beginning, uh, even on the on the picture display, these are plant leaves. They are plant leaves. They fall in the pond. These ones don't grow in the pond. So, so that we don't confuse ourselves, there is one that grow in the pond that have roots that grow in the pond. But this ones, if you pick it, you see that they are small, small leaves. But all are categorized same thing. People, some people call it dark weed because of the ones that grow in the pond. Now, let me break this thing down for you. When I talk of fish feed, you should understand. I have explained this in several. Fish feed is not just feed that you give to fishes. It's not, and this is what catfish farmers have failed to realize many people fail to realize this but some know when you are feeding your catfish you are giving them food the reason behind giving them food is one for survival and for growth now catfish being an agricultural commercial business the feed that you are giving to this catfish are supposed to con contain all the essential mineral resources to make sure these things are supposed to boost the growth and development of your catfishes now if you do not give your fishes balanced diet which is the composition of what the fishes need to grow what happens is that the desired growth you will not get it see most of us don't understand the catfish farming is a commercial business venture what it means is that you try to do it to make profit at the end of the exercise it is not the normal business venture that you just do to play around. So you should be able to 
differentiate between playing around and doing the business. So if it is a commercial venture to your own understanding, it means that everything you put in it should be commercially thought about. What it means to be commercially thought about is for the thing to be able to give you profit that which is the bone of contention behind any commercial activity. So once you are doing any commercial activity, what you are trying to achieve at the end of that commercial uh, activity is success. And the success is profit. So this is what you are trying to achieve. Anything beyond this is no longer a commercial activity. Try and understand this. So now, is Azola going to be that commercial ingredient that is going to give you that commercial success? No, it's not. Even me looking at it, me looking at it, you see that it's green color. If you go for that to try to put it in the lab to understand what this means, you see that it mainly contains vitamin and oil. Now, in the composition of a balanced diet, vitamin and oil, they are just part of the composition. Even where you need starch, you need protein. These things cannot give you all these things. So what it simply means is that your catfishes can actually eat anything when they are hungry. If it is possible for them to eat your fingers when they are hungry, they will do it. Once they are hungry and they can, they will eat it. They, once a catfish is hungry, can eat anything. So now, <clears throat> if you feed them Azola, they will eat it. But does Azola translate to what will give you the profit indices you are waiting for at the time of sales? No. So why do you want to waste your time? Because people just said, it's just because people want to listen to things that are foolish and agree and believe that people are encouraging them. But it's not encouragement. When somebody says do something, ask the person, what will be the implication? If you cannot explain it to you, then leave it. You can use it to play, but not in a commercial sense. Azola doesn't contain all the necessary ingredient for the best growth indices of your catfish. So what it simply means is that if you are feeding Azola alone to your, to your catfishes and expect to get the best result during sales, you will never get it. Some people even go to the point of saying they want to plant Azola to use it to feed their catfishes. My dear, it's a waste of time. Do not do things like this. But like I said, I do not like arguing when I know I'm not the person who is going to lose money. It's a free world. So if you want to try it, it's good. Once you lose your time you have wasted and the money you have invested, yes, next one you try to understand the implications of you know not being logical. So these things would not take you to the promised land if you want to get there on catfish farming. Yes, fishes eat Azola, but would they give you the financial success you want at the end of the business? No. If you want to argue this, it's okay. But I have just told you the implications and what is going to result at the end of, of the business. Then you notice that there is this plant material that also grew on the water. People think that catfishes eat that. They don't. Those ones have deeper roots and they have shades on top. So people think, oh, they provide shade for your catfishes. Your catfishes inside a three feet pond doesn't really need any shade. So the thing being on that water is also a problem to the catfish. Why? They will be dragging the same oxygen that the same catfish is taking. Meaning that your catfish may be suffering from um, oxygen malnutrition. So what is the point allowing it to grow on your pond? No point. So I have said before, all these uh, plant leaves that fall in your pond, do not worry about it when you see it. I'm not saying this because you think that the catfishes will eat it. No. When the catfishes are small and you see those things, the reason is that the activities in that pond is still very, very slow. So small catfishes cannot push it away. But don't worry. As your catfishes grow, what happens is that they now have the body energy, the force. So they move out those things from the pond. If you doubt it, when the catfishes are growing, if you go early in the morning in your pond, look at the surroundings of your pond, you discover that those things are actually outside the pond. And that's how they dry off. 
and leave the fishes for you. One, they don't disturb your fishes. Two, those your small cat fishes, we just many of them will not eat it once you are feeding them fine. They won't eat it. Once you are feeding them fine, they will not. They will only eat it when you are starving them. So they just use it as a source of survival. But does it give you the required growth you need on your catfish farm? No. Do you need to waste time hoping that that thing is going to succeed you in catfish? No. Do not waste your time. Some waste time saying they want to go and plant it is all a waste. Plan your catfish with what you have to feed them. And I can guarantee you that the result will shock you. If only you have good spacing and good management for your catfish. If you have any problems in your farm, simply send a video to 081-353-48909. And if you have any question on all I have said, kindly use the comment section. And until I come your way, my name is Emily Fong Noel Oge of Oleros Farm. Keep farming. It's a